Hey, my name is Matt Scaff. I'm a black belt at 10th Planet Jiu-Jitsu in Decatur. I've been training for almost, coming on eight years now. I've played sports all my life, soccer and basketball, and I just have always loved to train. Um, more than compete, more than anything, I've always just loved, whether it was taking a soccer ball out uh, to the field and you know practicing you know, free kicks and penalty kicks and dribbling drills by myself, to you know just coming in here and shrimping and doing a lot of basic Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu moves. Right from the beginning, I was hooked. And uh, my, one of my best friends, I'd never heard of the UFC or anything like that when I started. One of my best friends had started training Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu and he was like, man, you gotta check this out. This is like, this is real stuff. And so I tried karate, tried it for about six months. I didn't see a lot of application to it. Um, the gym I tra was training at in Kentucky wasn't very good. And uh, when I found Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, first night I came in and I was just blown away by just how effective and beautiful it was. Uh, man, my favorite part is uh, I feel like there's two types of people in this world. There's people that have way too much confidence and there's people that don't have any confidence. And what I think Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu does, it takes those guys that, you know, walk around and they uh, have a higher uh, sense of their worth and it brings them back down to a healthy ego level where it takes guys that don't believe in themselves that have low self-esteem. I think it brings them up and makes them start to believe and be confident in themselves. And um, I, think, I think that's one of... Uh, the most beautiful things about Brazilian Jiu Jitsu. Well, I remember when I was 18 years old and um, I was lifting a lot and I was playing sports, basketball, and soccer. And I remember just walking around and you know, you don't say this out loud, but I remember like going to parties or going to, you know, uh, to a get together and I'd look around and you're kind of always sizing yourself up. You're always going, oh, I could beat that guy up because I look more athletic or that guy's this, that guy's that. And you really realize that, uh, that size doesn't matter in Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu. My first day, my first bloody nose was to a girl. <laughs> and this was in a uh, MMA class. And um, honestly, most of my biggest humblings in the sport have come from women that train. And um, there's not a lot of things, uh, not a lot of areas in life where I think you can say um, that you know, a woman is kicking your butt and it's very, very humbling. I had, I think I had seven classes left in college and I, um, I don't know, like I quit. I quit college because I wanted to pursue this full time. I wanted to train every single day. I didn't want a job. I wanted to do this and I wanted to pursue this. And that's the kind of commitment, you know, um, that it takes, I think, to become a full time, whether you're trying to make it to the UFC, whether you're trying to be one of the, you know, baddest Brazilian Jiu Jitsu black belts in the world. It takes a full time commitment. And um, you know you can get phenomenal results training two, three times a week, but that's in comparison to guys that aren't training or guys that are training on an average basis. I always tell guys we're all on our own journey, and so I don't walk around wearing my black belt and having people call me professor, or, you know, sensei or anything like that because I'm just a normal dude with faults, and um, I, you know, I try and treat everybody in the gym, or I should say everyone in the gym here is treated equally, whether you train two weeks or whether you're trying to make it in the UFC or whether you're a black belt, it's all family. And um, I need the white belts and I need guys that, um, you know, train two, three times a week to train with me, you know? And so uh, I'm very, very appreciative of those guys. And, um, but again, it is a different animal, you know, when you're trying to do this full time, when you're trying to be a professional, it's, um, it's a dog eat dog world, you know, when you're, when you're looking at that. So. One of the biggest things is I'm always uh, trying to uh, be honest with myself, you know, about my the good things I do, the bad things I do, and not get emotional about that. I think that's the number one thing I tell anybody in any sport in any area of their life is you can't get emotional about your wins and losses. Okay. The second thing that I, I really try and do is just uh, train every day. You know, there's days in any profession that you don't want to go, no matter how much you love it. And every day it adds up. You're always, you know, I'm always just striving to learn one thing and get that 1% better. I'm really into my body, so I try and do Pilates, yoga, different stretching, um, breath work, ice baths, 
Um, I'm always looking for that edge because, uh, you know, I, I'm, a, I'm a little bit addicted, I'd say. So anything I can do, you know, whether it's getting a massage or, you know, jumping outside into to pools just to get that extra edge of recovery, um, I'm willing to do it because um, I love this sport and, um, you know, it, it's a lot more than a sport. I love this art. And so anything I can do to get better, I, I'm, I'm willing to do that. Um, and this might sound crazy, but I can feel my partners, you know, if they're mad, they're coming at me with aggression, whether they're coming at me to learn, I can tell how their ego is that day. I can tell the guys that, you know, they, I need to go a little bit harder with, bring them back down. I tell guys I need to help bring back up and I'm not just trying to submit them over and over again. And I think anytime you move your body um, and you're working on something, whether it's a dance, whether it's soccer, whether it's uh, basketball, football, there's an art to it. And I think um, the human body and the way um, you know we move is very beautiful. And Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu is a just an incredible expression of that. Okay, I think uh, the closest thing to it that I've seen is gymnastics. You know, I, I think there's a lot of correlations. You're moving your body in these dynamic ways, and um, you know. It, the more you learn about it, you really see that it is, um, you know, again, it's just beautiful. I've heard, you don't know how many people have come in here and started training and said they're going to make it to the UFC, they're going to train for the rest of their lives, they said they're going to get their black belt. I think that it's uh, naive to say that, you know, you're going to train forever. I believe I'm going to train forever. Um, I love it. It's my favorite thing in the world. The good, the bad. I love it all. And um, I hope that when I'm 93, I'm on these mats still and uh, I'm moving my body and having fun and teaching the next generation. Man, when I first started Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu, um, I was 20 years old. I, I was um, I was lost. You know, I was coming. I just kind of my sports career just ended. Again, I, I loved to train, and I was in a place where I was very. I was. I didn't realize it. I always thought I was a very confident person, but I was very insecure. I couldn't express my emotions. Um, you know, I was partying a little bit too much, and Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu gave me this beautiful direction. It really taught me so many things that other sports didn't teach me. Um, you know, when you're grappling and you're fighting and you're, you know, learning with other people, it's, a, again, it keeps your ego in check. And I really, um, you know, I really have learned so many things and I think I've matured just so much from this. And I don't think I would have without it, you know? And um, I think a lot of times, our worst version of ourselves are brought out because we are scared, because we are insecure. And I always tell people, and I've heard this from tons of our students, that after they train, they'll be driving home, especially when they're training regularly, they're driving home, somebody cuts them off, they don't get mad. You know, you just grow so much uh, in patience and, um, you know, your anger, you, you don't get angry as much. And just all these things come from training. And I've heard it from myself, I know what it's done for me, and I've heard it from tons and tons, thousands of other people, you know, all my friends train. And um, again, that's when I'm not training, I definitely feel that I, I, uh, I'm much more aggressive. I'm definitely, you know, don't have as much patience. I get mad, you know, waiting in line or something little, those little annoyances bother me. And, um, you know, I, I definitely think it will change your life. So if you're looking for a change, you feel stuck, you feel kind of, you know, like you're not reaching your full potential, this is something that'll bring it out in you.